prevention, head on over to kxnet.com. In other news, as we hit the middle of the spring term for most colleges, enrollment is continuing a downward trend nationwide. Overall, undergraduate enrollment is down 4.5% compared to the last spring. That's according to data from the National Student Clearinghouse Research Center. KX News took a pulse of our local schools already looking ahead to the fall semester. When you compare this year's spring to last year's spring, we're about, we're up a little bit more than 4%. Dickinson State University President Steve Easton is pleased to see a rise in enrollment from spring to spring that is numerically equivalent to the drop on a national scale. It's enrollment going into the next school year, however, that is causing some worry. We're down about 5 to 6% at this point in completed applications. It's my job to be worried about this. Here's a look at new students admitted to DSU in the last four years. The 2021 figure, last updated February 28th, is not final. It's a move. It's not in the direction you'd like, but it's not a really big move. And I think that, I think everything's moving later. I think we're gonna, there's gonna be students who are gonna be applying later in the process. Across the U.S., it's the community colleges that have been hit the hardest by COVID-19, with enrollment numbers down almost 10% from last spring. Here, Bismarck State College saw a small decrease from last spring to this one at 1.64%. I don't even know that we had an expectation other than we wanted to try to make sure that we could help our students be successful in these trying times. Karen Erickson is the school's Dean of Enrollment Management. She tells me this slight dip is no different than the past few years, which she says has a direct correlation to a drop in the state's high school graduation rate. Our enrollment has almost held steady. As North Dakota's only polytechnic institution, we offer programs that are very, um, that are in high demand. BSC did see a large growth in several majors, including nursing and cybersecurity. Erickson attributes some of the retention to the school continuing to offer face-to-face -face classes in some capacity throughout the last year. They want to experience the campus life. Brendan Nagel with Public Affairs at the University of Mary says the same thing. In fact, she says fall 2021 recruitment is actually up from this time last year by about 8%. Our number of applications um, today compared to pre-pandemic um, are quite quite a bit higher. So I think we are definitely on, on the path of growth. We've not seen a decline in enrollment in, in several years. Do you expect by this fall for enrollment to be back up at even? I do. Dickinson State will have a better idea of final fall enrollment numbers at the end of this month when students begin to register for classes. President Easton attributes the spring growth to new athletic programs, adding a master's degree program and bringing in students from Dickinson High to take some college classes early. Now, graduate school is a completely different story. In fact, it's growing more with each passing semester, up by 4.3% this spring. While Brenda Nagel, who we met in the last story, says undergrad enrollment is up, the key word to describing admission to the private school's primary graduate program is stable. That's the MBA, or Master of Business Administration. Nagel says grad school at UMary and across the country has been offered online for years, which made the pandemic transition a little smooth. Interestingly, advanced health care degrees are rising in popularities right now, especially respiratory therapy. Now, those are the people who have been working um, day in and day out um, with the pandemic, you know, a, a respiratory pandemic <laughs> where respiratory therapists are, are really in the heat of the battle. We've got a lot of respiratory therapy students. Also in high demand, BSC has seen an increase in students looking to get into heating, ventilation, and air conditioning programs, which was up 64%. Coming up next on KX News at 